Hey there, Sparklist. Another bottle for you. Um, kind of a special one. This one's a little bit more rare. Uh, it's a real treat to have this one here. So this is in our July box. This is, is uh, from Chateau Saint-Marie. This is a Cremant from France, but not just any Cremant because it's a Cremant du Bordeaux. And Bordeaux, as everybody would know, is one of the most famous wine regions in the world, right? Wines from Bordeaux are incredibly expensive, very well respected, very well known around the world. They are not known for sparkling wine. <laughs> they do make it, however. Uh, just not in very large quantities, right? And that th what is made typically stays in the area or in France, right? There's just not a huge quantity. Uh, for example, they only made 2,000 bottles of this one. So we're really, really, really excited to have it. It's probably the smallest production wine that we've ever been able to include in the club. So really excited to have this one. Uh, Chateau Saint-Marie, Cremant du Bordeaux, they're located in Entre Deux Mers, which is actually in between the left bank and the right bank, right? It's kind of in the middle. And this is actually also a Blanc de Noir, right? It is made of 52% Cabernet Franc, 48% Merlot. So Blanc de Noir, and because of those grapes, right, it does get some of the, uh, the red berries in the flavoring, right? You're going to get a little bit of uh, strawberry, a little bit of raspberry. You know, you have a couple different things going on. <coughs> With there, you're also going to get subtle floral notes coming out of here, a little bit of guava, and you're going to get some fresh buttered bread. Uh, and that becomes because they do not, even though they make very few of these, they do not skimp on how they make it, right? This has been aged for 36 months before release, right? So they really give it that time to develop, uh, that time to, for all the flavors to integrate and to allow it to really be a fantastic uh, sparkling wine to drink. So. Um, this particular one, it's also a Brut Nature, right? They did, the dosage is very, very minimal on this, uh, and it just really, you're just truly getting an expression of the grapes. And it is, <coughs> excuse me, made, like I said, by Chateau Saint-Marie, which has been around for centuries, right? But originally it was run and operated by monks. But then in the 1936, um, a gentleman by the name of Edouard Mondot uh, took over, and he just wanted to raise cows and make some, you know, cheap wines. But um, he didn't have any uh, children, so he mentored his nephew, who ended up taking over for him, and now it's on their side of the family. And currently, <coughs> excuse me, is run by a husband and wife team, and they are practicing organic now at this point. They made the switch uh, a few years ago, and as of 2024, all their releases will be certified organic. So obviously they have a passion and a care for everything they do with their land. Uh, this Cremant is, it's, it's really it's perfect for any kind of festive occasion, right? This is great to take to parties. This is great to kind of show off something different. If you have any friends who are kind of know a little bit about wines or they're really into Bordeaux, they would love this, right? People are just not used to tasting uh, sparkling wine from Bordeaux, so it's fun to take uh, to share with people. Um, for food, right, this is one that you can have with, with any kind of poultry, really. This will go great with poultry, summery salads, um, a fresh croissant in the morning. For like Sunday brunch, fresh croissant and crepes, this would be great. Just don't add orange juice, please. Just drink it as it is, and it'll be perfect for you. So, um, really happy to have this one. Chateau Saint-Marie, uh, Crémont du Bordeaux. Please, enjoy it. Cheers.